The following segment is sponsored by Creative Society. Your general heating and cooling maintenance activities are crucial for the life of your HVAC system and also they increase its efficiency. Now, obviously the major work should be left to the professionals, but there are several tips that can help you out along the way. Sean McGraw is here from American Veteran Air Conditioning. Hi, Sean. Good morning, how you doing? Doing well, it's good to see you. Um, you've got some tips for us. The first on your list is you know, checking and replacing your furnace filters and AC filters. That's necessary and most homeowners can handle that. What should we consider? They can't, and I preach this crazy, so I hope folks listen to it some, at some point, is airflow is key to everything on the system. If it's not getting the airflow across it, the system's gonna suffer, and it's gonna be a big deal. So if the filter's clogged, it can't breathe properly. Um, and on top of that, if there is a, no filter, the filter was not changed to proper intervals, what'll happen as well is you end up clogging up the rest of the breeze. So something that was a simple item just to go ahead and change this out and make sure the system is operating clean. Now you don't have that in there, you end up clogging up the fan blades on your squirrel cage. Well, these are curved and they're curved for a reason. They're made to throw air. And what happens is as they build up debris, that curved nature of the fan actually ends up getting flattened out with debris and dust and dirt in there. And now it's more flat and it can't move the air the way it was designed to do. So something simple could turn into something a lot more complex. Absolutely. So yeah, debris and clutter tends to pile up over the winter. So we, we re need to remove that. Um, when we are removing plants and weeds that are close to the air conditioner, what kind of clearance do you recommend? I recommend keeping at least a foot and a half, two feet of clearance around the whole air conditioning unit. In general, one of the things I'd recommend to folks do after they get done mowing the lawn and all that dust and debris gets kicked up is just take a water hose, take the nozzle off of it. We don't want a jet force string going in there because we don't want to bend the blades or anything like that on the, on the fins of the coil. But just a basic rinse off on the AC system, go ahead and kill power before you do so and just rinse that off. Um, some other general things on there is I look at the paint on the system. Well, we have paint on the car for a reason, right? Because that's protecting the, the finish of the system. It's not just there to look pretty. So just, uh, I like to have my guys get out there with some spray wax and just wax that off, get the oxidation off there, make sure that coat stays good and it's being protected as it goes through. I wanna keep running on on year a little bit. Beauty bark is a big deal. When that, everybody kinda of gets that thrown in in the springtime, well, we don't want that getting clogged up above the coil unit here because that's blocking airflow as well. So all that stuff rolls in a deal. Uh, putting some fire ant killer around your unit, making sure the fire ants aren't getting up in there. They're actually drawn to the electricity on the contactor. Once springtime comes, we'll have an abundance of calls of fire ants that literally march to their death and get caught up inside the contactor and we have to replace the contactor. <clears throat> well, those are the things then, you know, somebody's going to eventually want to have a professional come out and clean their HVAC system. Those are the things that you, you guys do above and beyond. Um, tell us more about that and, and American veterans mission in general. Yeah. Oh, okay. So just a couple more things on there with the beauty bark, make sure you'll have a condensate line coming out your house. That's there to drain the moisture from the unit here. This is pulling moisture and humidity out of your house and moving it outside. That's a big part of an air conditioning system. If it's clogged up underneath and you jam that up with dirt where it's supposed to be draining, then you get problems. Another simple fix or a simple maintenance item for folks to do at home is on most properly designed AC systems, there'll be a condensate trap on there. Pouring just a little bit of bleach into that trap on a periodic basis will keep the slime and gunk from growing up in there and, and save you from having a ceiling caving in at your house because this got clogged up with mildew, wasn't able to drain and it started overflowing into your attic. Um, as far as the company goes, this is what we've looked to do. We really wanna help you out, do what we can, give you some tips as to the best way to maintain and, and keep your house the way you want it. The system is just the same as anything else is if we take care of it, it'll take care of us, right? So we want to give you the knowledge, the, the capability of making the educated decision and let you take care of it the way you best see fit. Yep.
and people love working with you for that reason. You're a great partner along the way and you always get the job done right. Um, people want to contact American Veteran at the number on screen, 4350822, or visit the website, AmericanVeteranAC.com. Sean McGraw, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Take care, y'all.